If you have or aspire to have a 3D printer or CNC mill or laser cutter, you're going to need a tool that produces G-code paths and other suitable output for your device. Um, Kirimoto is such a tool. Um, you can find it if you hop on over to GridSpace, that's grid.space. And if you click on any of these, these icons will select a specific mode. This will just hop you right into the app in 3D slicing mode. So I'm going to just hop in over here. Uh, you, it runs in your browser. When you come in for the first time, you'll be presented with a help menu. Um, you can always get this back uh, with the help menu button over here on the left hand side. There are the three different modes that you have access to uh, currently in Kiri. And on the right hand side, is a mode dependent menu. So if you're laser cutting, it changes. In CNC milling mode, it changes. That's context sensitive based on the task. Um, the object that you have in front of you can be accessed through import or dragging and dropping an item onto the bed here. Uh, once you have your, your item uh, in place, you can uh, go over to the right hand side and modify your settings suitable to the way you're slicing for your printer. Expert mode gives you a lot more options. Covering these in detail is the subject of another video. Um, there are hotkeys for everything. You'll see an underline next to the letters um, and also go into the help menu to look for more extensive uh, keyboard and mouse controls. So you can put it in wireframe, silly stuff like that. What's really useful once you go and actually slice your object, um, this will produce you can turn layers on and off here. This will produce the sliced object that you're, um, but prior to G-code generation, that shows you what the slicer is looking at in terms of the part. So we have a number of options for viewing the part. Uh, we can use the slider to go up and down the mouse wheel to go up and down through the part. Uh, there are hotkeys to hop up and down through that. There is a, uh, a section view mode, um, and we control the number of sections that we're looking at down to one or if you want to. And this allows you to sort of go through step by step and see what every layer looks like individually. Um, there are some other interesting layers that you can turn on and off in this view. You can turn off the outline and the trace, in which case you only see the, the solid fill. You can look at just the sparse fill. I think an interesting view here is the delta mode, and this shows you where there are overhangs and flat areas. And that's used to generate things like supports and, and other things that, if you're sort of skilled in the art, will understand uh, what they mean and will help you debug your object. So uh, once you've sliced it and you're happy with those settings, so you can obviously go back and do things like change the shell count, slice it again. If you're in a view mode where you're looking at a specific layer and you change this and you hit slice again, it'll stay on that layer. Now, once you've uh, got the object uh, to your liking and you want to see what the G-code looks like, you can click on Preview. That'll generate G-code. And in this case, the color coding uh, lines up with the speed of the print. Um, so you'll know which sections are being printed fast and which sections are being printed slowly. And you can play the same tricks in terms of zooming up and down through the different layers. You can turn the moves on and off to see what um, the moves are going to look like uh, when it's non-printing. And the other thing you can do is you can turn on uh, the opacity. So you can overlay the object itself um, and see what uh, those parts look like against the, the uh, an opaque version of the object that you're printing. So uh, once you've got that ready uh, and you're, you want to export or print your object, click Export. You'll get the dialog. You can download the G-code. If you have OctoPrint, you can spool it directly to that. And GridHost and GridLocal are uh, printing uh, utilities and services that go through GridSpace and for the GridBot uh, 3D printer. Um, and so once you've got that done, you're ready to go. And uh, that's it sort of for 3D printing mode. Uh, I'll have more advanced uh, videos for, for, for other types of uh, settings, uh, expert settings in CNC mode later on. And um, that's it for now. Hope that was helpful.